I want to be in control of when I update my computer. And Microsoft has made that much more difficult more recently. You used to be able to go into services. You, you can get to services by, you, you can uh, hold the Windows key and hit the letter R, type in services.msc. And, uh, and here you go, you got, you got services. And there's three services normally that you could just set for disabled and you didn't really have to worry about it. There was background intelligent transfer service. You could, go, you could say stop and then you go to dis disabled. There's, um, there's delivery optimization. And there is Windows Update. Well, more recently, Microsoft started, uh, if you had this set for disabled, they, they uh, went through and uh, set it for manual. Just, and I don't know what the, how long it is, how long of a period of time. I just found that if I waited during most of the day, suddenly that, this isn't disabled anymore. So, I wanted to look into seeing if there is a way to maybe make some batch files and then use the task scheduler, Windows task scheduler, to, to run these batch files at a certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, at a certain interval. Uh, so I have one of them, I have one, one of them, this, this set of, uh, these disable the services and these ones stop the services. I made them separate. You could, you don't have to make them separate, but I made them separate <coughs> because I wanted the the disable command to be um, less often than the uh, stop command. So, um, just my personal preference, you know. So, and so, if you want to get to the task scheduler, you can just start hit the Windows key task SCH and uh, you'll see task scheduler <clears throat> and as you see I have uh, I have one set up already here's disable services and there's stop services but I'll show you how to create a new one <clears throat> create task bing banana fungus among us. Okay, so, oh yeah, we want to go run whether the user is logged on or not. Uh, run with highest privileges. Triggers, new. One time, repeat every hour not every hour, which will say five minutes. You can do five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour. So I'm gonna do five minutes for the duration of indefinitely. Actions, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go browse. We're gonna to go to one of these, uh, one of these that I created. Um, we'll just do the stop services one, which is the one that the net stop and then uh, the name of the service. Uh, this one here, just 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 for note, W U A U service is Windows Update service. This one is Backyard Intelligent Transfer service, and this one is um, uh, Delivery Optimization service. So anyway, so we're going to click OK here, and. Uh, Conditions, uh, we don't need to, it, it can run at any time. Settings, I think all this is good. Don't really have to worry about this because it only takes a moment to run. So if it did happen to run for three days, yeah, I'd hope it shut off. And just looking through here, making sure it's all, that everything is good. And, uh, We'll go like this. And now I type my password. And there we go. 
Now in this case I want to uh, delete this because I, I don't need it because I already have uh, Yes, I need to delete that task because I already have it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what you do if you want to make sure that Windows Update it isn't going to run. Sad that we have to go through this much to do it, but hey, you know, at least there's an option. <clears throat>